Hey guys, this right here is me part one of two of the Big Brother introduction. I'm doing a two part concept because of how big the cast is, so I can explain more of the people a little bit better for you guys. So let's get started, shall we? Like I said earlier, I'm going to show you guys what the two tribes are, and that's going to be a two-part video. So let's get started. As you see here, this is our Big Brother Survivor fan. This right here will be our first tribe that I'm going to talk about. Now, as a warning, I can't say too much about any of the people here, because the rules and restrictions are put on me. But let's get started over here. First off, we're going to go with Patty Mayonnaise, Patty Cakes, whatever you want to call it, Miss Patricia, because either way she hates all the name names. That's why, that's why, you know, I guess it's a big joke. Mm. Uh, Trisha's one of the few people in this game who's actually, who's actually still playing, who's actually won the game before he's ever done the whole Survivor concept of it. Which is really nice. I've really had her on the drive. She's one of the top five people out of everybody's playing. She's probably good with endurance. And pretty smart on these comps. So, I see that. Next, we have Deontay. Now, me and Deontay over here going back and forth a lot of times throughout all the years, stuff like that. He's a good guy. I think he wins more luck comps than anything else. But, you know, you get what you get. I mean, when he goes down to, I'm pretty sure if he can win the top comps, he'll be needing to win. Next, here we have Sabrina. Now, Sabrina was new last season. So, I mean, last season I did, I did wasn't much great, but so put that way. So, I mean, I didn't get fully to see how great she was, but very though added though, I do know she won one of the HOAs last season, which is a very good thing for someone who's brand new to the game. Which won last year was new again. So we are very happy to have her back and on this tribe. Next, we have Marcus. Hmm. Now, I don't know much about Marcus. So much of it, he's a new kid, one of the newest people that we actually have. The boy looks 10, but actually he's not. So, I mean, we don't know fully a lot about him yet. So, we're kind of hoping over here he can surprise us on these comps. We don't know yet. Then we got Gavin. Gavin's easy enough to get along with. I played with him last season. We've also played with him a couple different games throughout the years. Uh... One big thing with Gavin though here is he likes to hide inside the air vents, so as long as you just keep shit locked up, you don't have to worry about him during the night. Yeah, here's the next new person we have, which is Kevin. Never played with him before. He's new to this game. Really looking forward to see what he can do too. Yeah, it's always nice to see these new people come in after all the time playing with the same people over and over and over again. Really nice to see it. Now we have last year's winner. Which is Nick. Now Nick, over here, I'm pretty sure he knows he has a huge target on his back for you know season one coming in second place, season two winning it. This season, you know, he's, he's pretty much you, you can kind of tell you have a big target on your back just because of that, and the fact that you put on a shirt might be a target too. Because nobody wants to see that. Okay, now we got Mr. Phyllis or you know, Philip. I call him Phyllis just to piss him off. You know, it really doesn't annoy him, but I just do just being ass. Yeah. Phil's one of the top people that I talked about before. Trisha over here that are good with endurance. Stuff like that. Big thing with Phil. I mean, he knows how to talk. He knows how to persuade people to do this stuff. This is really one of his big strong suits. And that. Sorry guys. Anyways, you know, it's always nice to have him back. This is the weird thing is this is the very first time we have ever been on the same exact team. All the other times it's always been. Mm -hmm. I'm a dick. What? Sorry, people. That's just, I don't know. 
next we have Mr. Kangaroo himself. Brandon. Now I call him Mr. Kangaroo because, you know, he's from Australia. He's really the only person we've ever had play those games before. Australia. Now, Brandon, I don't know where his strong suits are. I mean, I've seen him win with one, maybe two vetoes. Ever since I've ever known him. He doesn't, he doesn't really win a lot. Stuff like that. I mean, maybe this is his season to win just because of it. He, he hasn't really had a breakout season at any time. So we'll see. Next, we have Jacob. Just like with Gavin, I played with Jacob, you know, last season when he was new, and then I played you know, a couple other times different games with him. Jacob, you know, last season he just had to lay into controversy with him because, you know, he was too young to play, but, you know, snuck in. Ugh. And laid low for the whole season. So we're going to see how he does this season. Because I can't say nothing bad about nobody or anything else, so it's just, you know, y'all yeah, got to take what I'm saying with a grain of salt, just so you understand this. Next on the list, well, starting at the bottom of the list now, we have Alex. Now, Alex is just like with Jacob, you know, I played with him last season when he was new. I had a couple games with him before. This. So, yeah, I don't know a lot about Alex that much. Here and there, other than the stuff that he, he talks about nonstop. Beginning of this game here, there was some controversy already. He started a couple of fights, but you know, we don't hold that against him it's early in the game. Don't really give a shit right now. Y'all gotta think, you know, we have to win for ourselves. You know, if our tribe wins, we're all safe. So, you know, with you know, bygones and bygones, don't worry about the shit. And I think you understood that. Next over here, if Austin, now, I played with Austin a lot throughout the years. He didn't get to play last season. Because, you know, he didn't, make, he, made, he didn't make it far enough. But, you know, it is what it is. I guess you can say it is what it is, but, you know, it is what it is. <sighs> but, uh, Austin's a good guy. I, I do like Austin. I ain't gonna lie. Over here, I used to work with him. Uh, I used to work with him over here when he was a good teammate back then and stuff like that. I had no problem with it. Oh, sorry guys. You know, he's just very smart when it comes to these comps and stuff like that. He doesn't know how to win when he needs to. And you know, sometimes he just comes just a little short that when it comes after that. It happens all of us. So I'm pretty sure back, you know, season one, if you would have won that one comp, that one veto, I really was trying to win. And the game would have changed so dramatically. And I think you knew that too. Last but not least, go on. Third. Last but not least, we have the best player in the universe, which is me. Yes, I can say that because it is me. Y'all can't say that because it's me. Now, I can't really talk a lot about myself without like talking like ever and being like pig headed because of it. But now, like, like the other people I mentioned, I'm probably one of the top five people when it comes to endurance. I'm probably one of the better players when it comes to veto. Because, you know, I know how to win a veto when, you know, back into a corner kind of thing. But other than that, you know, you know, I try to be a social person and sometimes it doesn't work with me doing the editing of the videos and just how I work and stuff like that. Anyway. So that's right here is the Kappa Kappa tribe. As you can tell, we are blue. And the funny thing of all this is, is that Jacob technically picked the name for the tribe before you know the game started. You know, we all had to you know vote on the tribe who we wanted. Surprisingly, though, he's the one that got picked. But anyways, here as you guys will see here in later videos from this, you'll see over here the H O H will be yellow, the nominees will be in red, the person who wins veto will be in green, and the people who evicted will be in black. And that is not a comment to Deontay. <laughs> Sorry. I had to say it. But, anyways guys, get ready. As this is done uploading, I'm going to upload part two. So, get ready for that also. 
within the next hour or so, we should have part one and part two uploaded. I would like to have a third video uploaded today, but I don't know. So, we'll see you guys later. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. I'll talk more about this game as it goes on. Some stuff that happens. Maybe I can get some Chris to give me some leeway. On certain things I can say. And do in here. Uh, but we'll find out. Okay, guys. We'll catch you later.